An important new feature in AgUTrack and AccuSQL 2014 is the ability to prevent students from signing in during their scheduled class time. Okay, and in this video I'll show you how that works. Um, there are two types of imports you can do for class schedules. One is for activities that already exist in the system, and the other is you're importing brand new activities. Okay, and I'll show you both ways. Okay, so I'm going to sign in here as an administrator, and let's go look at our categories and activities. Okay, so I have a category here called math, and I have various existing math activities. So I'm going to import, first of all, my class schedules into these activities. So if I look at my activity schedule now, I don't have any schedule at all for my classes, or for my math classes in this case. Okay? All right, so I'm going to go to Database, Import, and pick my, I have a file that has existing uh, activities in it, and I'll talk about that more in a minute, but let me find that file. Okay, and I want to import that into my class schedules import right here, okay? Click Next. Okay, now here's my import file. And now I'm going to map my fields. So let's see, I have category, math, ID, is my activity ID, activity name, here's my days of the week, from, and to. Okay, click Next, and finish. Okay, and it imported all seven of my schedules for those existing activities. Now I can go look at those schedules now by clicking on my math category and then I'm going to click Activity Schedules. So my College Algebra MAT 1101, Section 111 is from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, I have another College Algebra that's Tuesday and Thursday from 9.30 to 10.30, etc., etc. Okay? So that was the import of class schedules for existing activities. Okay, now let's do one for new activities. And I want to show you that file before I import it. Okay? So what I've got here, let me expand that, is various fields. Now you can see I've got, uh, let's look at Greek literature, for example. You see I have that repeated three times, um, and I have a schedule from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. for various students. Now why do I have that in there three times? Is because I want to show you, you can combine the class schedule uh, import with a registration import. So I'm going to use this to, re uh, to register my students for these classes. Now, the class schedules uh, where the student can't sign into AccuTrack, that's based on their registration to the activity. And what I mean is if this student with an ID of twos uh, is registered for Greek literature Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., when I turn the feature on, uh, that student will not be able to sign in during that period on that day, okay? All right. And for the new activities, I'm going to use the activities table import. So database import, pick my file that we just looked at. And activities table, since it's brand new activities. Okay. Click Next. Now, while we're here, I want to show you the format here of my days and my from and to. Uh, it's pretty flexible the way it handles the imports. So I have here Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, I have T-U-E-T-H-U-F-R-I, uh, M-O-W-E-F-R. So it'll accept any format for my days here. Okay, I also have some that have colons, uh, such as 4 p.m. here, but I also have one that's 1 p. Okay, so it'll accept 1 p, 1 p.m., 2 a.m., whatever it may be. So it's pretty flexible about how it gets its data. Okay. And now I'll map my fields. Here's my activity ID, activity name, category, the days is my class days, and then my from and to. Okay, so that's all I need for my activity import. And it's going to find duplicate records. Well, that's because it's a registration import, so I have Greek literature in there three times, but it's fine because I only need one of them. 
Okay, and it in, indeed imported one, and two, it said violated uniqueness as expected. So that's just what I want. Okay, now let's go see those categories and activities. And it created a brand new category here called English for me. Here's my English classes, and here's my activity schedules that were also imported at the time I imported those activities. Okay, now let's look at Greek literature here. And that happens from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Well, it just so happens to be 1.22 p.m. here. So what I'd like to do is find the students that are registered for Greek literature. Um, actually, I take that back. I haven't run my registration import. So let's go ahead and register those students for Greek literature using a registration import. Okay, and that's that same file I just used with the one addition of the student ID. So that's going to link my student to the class. Okay, and it's this one. And I'm going to do a student registration import. I could overwrite the current one, but I think I'll go ahead and add to it. So I'll just leave that alone. Click Next. Okay, so now I have identification. That's my activity ID. Here's my activity name, my category, and then over here is my student ID. Okay. Click Next and Finish. So now I've imported my student registration for those classes. And I can go look at my sign in setup registration here. And it was English. So here are the students. It's a sample file, so there's not much in it. But here we go, Greek literature. I have three students registered for that. OK, so let's go find Phil Shore, for example, so we can get his ID. OK, and it's all threes, so we'll sign in with that. Now, I haven't turned on uh, preventing sign-ins from class scheduling, so I need to do that. And that's under Student Visits Tracking, and then Setup right here. OK, I click that, and I've got an option that says Do Not Allow Students to Sign In During Their Class Time. So I'll check that box, and you'll notice this class name is a merge field, so that means it's going to actually show the class that the student's supposed to be in. Okay, And I can customize this. And let's put that merge field in again. OK, so I can make that message displayed however I'd like. I save that. And my Greek literature was from 1 to 4 PM. And Phil Shore is registered for it. So let's try to sign in as Phil Shore and see what happens. Okay, it says, I'm not allowed to sign in during class time ENG 2202 Greek Lit. You need to hurry and get to. Uh, Greek lit. Okay, so that's how it works. Now, if I want to bypass that, all I have to do is turn that box back off in my setup, and then it would behave normally. It would uh, not even worry about class schedules. Okay? All right, thank you.